This graphic design software is what I'm revealing in today's video. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome everybody. Please go and drop a subscription down below to the channel and like the video and turn the notification bell on so you're notified every time I go into a brand new video guys. This video is absolutely awesome and I've got so many more software videos like this which is super useful for any type of computer. You're following. It's going to be all coming to this channel so make sure you get ready. But today I'm showing you some of the best graphic design software. One of the best. I've got another one of these coming very soon. I was going to plan on putting more than one software in this video but I thought it's just going to get way too long otherwise so I thought I'll just start with another one in the next couple days but yeah I hope you enjoy this video I cover a really good software and I really do recommend it and just make sure you follow the video because I show you the website but then I go and show tutorials so basically make sure you watch the whole video because I reveal some awesome little tricks you can use in the software to save you time and to save you money but yeah if you have any questions on other softwares or this software please drop a comment below because I know some of these softwares are hard to use and certain things I may not have covered in the video I mean a majority of the stuff I have so make sure you do watch the whole video because then you pre pretty much know everything about the software hopefully but yeah if you want to see more videos like this smash the like subscribe to the channel and let's jump into this awesome new software. Here's the more basic online photo editor which is essentially your graphic design software so all you want to do to come and get started is go and click edit a photo and there is a premium version but the free version literally will do everything you need to do so there'll be a link down below for this website and you can also come directly to it so click edit a photo and it's now loading in now you can just click X like I said there will be a few ads we'll see they've got to make money somehow um, from this awesome software so click the X and now I personally you can start with an image but I personally just stop the blank canvas um, it's so easy and you can still go and add images now this all depends on the graphic design you're making so this is really awesome because there are so many templates so if you're trying to make an Etsy shop icon you go and use that one right and if you want to use Facebook LinkedIn YouTube personally I go and want to make a thumbnail for YouTube which is usually well as you can see here actually it's 1220 1280 by 720 but I just do it in full 1080p which is 1920 by 1080 and then go and click make it and you can go and have a space name, that's just my email. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna have blank and uh, 920 by 1080. So here we go, it's loading our image. And as you can see, this is really easy to use. Now, I mean, I say it's basic, but it's just more basic to the next one I'm gonna be showing you. Um, but this is really useful for just doing more basic, I guess. And when you're new to it and getting into your first sort of first pieces of graphic design. But anyway, currently you've just got this blank canvas. So there's so many options you can do. Um, I'm gonna go and find an image. So what we're gonna do is create a new tab and go to Google. And I'm going to simply just search something like cool background just like that um, because you can get some really cool ideas just to have um, as a background image so I'm gonna go for something quite basic and pretty chill something like this just really chill and you can go and you want to do is right click on it and go and click save image as and it's gonna bring up my downloads folder and all I do is save that just like so so now I've saved that it's down here as you see .png what you want to do is come to back to pick monkey click add an image and then you want to click computer and it's going to bring up where I saved it and you double click where you saved it so mine's just here so now it's going to load it in and it's, it's as you can see it doesn't actually fit the whole image you have to zoom out click off this and just use your mouse wheel or if you want a trackpad just use the gesture uh, so you can move back like that and now you can see your your basically your whole um, canvas a lot um, clearer so now you want to do is click it once and you'll get the arrow so you can basically drag it out to make it full the fill the whole um, canvas because otherwise when you save it it's going to have these whiteboards that you do not want so make sure basically everything you want to be seen is in the whiteboard and if you think you don't want to be seen you drag it out uh, so boosh that is the background which is really really cool so right now you've got your background you can go and add anything you want so you can go and like and basically change the background image so as you can see you could come click on exposure and you can adjust it just like so you can increase the brightness all the way to white all the way to basically well black basically um, but yeah you, I, I'm going to keep it at zero so if you want to do like um, an actual number you can just double click I'm gonna put zero and you can make it highlighted um, it's so adjustable and yeah that's kind of the th main things for the background but the main thing I'll show you is sort of the text um, tool to it so you can click on text just like so and so actually I'm gonna click no leave it uh, because I did actually want to change it but yeah so you've got some awesome layouts here as well which you can simply use and just edit them or you can go and add in straight text so for now I think I'm gonna go and just use this one it's quite cool so I'm gonna click on that and now it's brought it in so to edit it all you want to do is come click on it once and then double tap actually there you want to do is click singly off and then you're gonna have these as two separate layers the click on it once and then click again and you can now edit it and you can make it big I'll quickly add the text I want to I'm gonna simply put my channel name so tutorial Tucker 
just like so. And now I'm going to go and as you can see, it's all sort of split across um, different lines. So to change that, you do is grab the line and simply drag it out just like so. And now that looks perfect actually. So actually, I don't think this color matches the background. So what I want to do is go and highlight it by dragging it out and come up here and simply go and change the color. So you go for a blue. I think that's still too dark for the image. So I'm going to go for a white and uh, click off it and see how it looks. That looks really good. And uh, you can see when you move them around, what you're going to do is grab it once and you're going to get the lines. So they help you line it up with how straight it is. So I want that bang in the middle, a bit further over like that. And that looks absolutely perfect. And next up, we've got this little thing down here. So this is just another box I, I did put in with it. So I'm going to click it once and simply go and put a bit of base test like, um, just like welcome to the channel, just like so. Now you've got that, I'm going to just click it all. You can go and highlight it all and make it a bit big because that is too small in my opinion. I think maybe 72. Uh, and that looks absolutely perfect and it's in quite a good position so then click it once to get rid of the the text editor and you can put it right there so yeah that's sort of like the main image compose obviously you can drag it around and everything but i want to quickly show you other stuff you're going to add so click on graphics and now you've got all of this awesome stuff here so to add social media click on social media obviously and then click on the instagram logo i think i'll add that so i haven't really got an instagram for youtube um but i'll show you an example so i can drag the logo there so i want this to be banging in the middle like the other stuff uh, like that and then come back to text uh, up here and click add text now here you get the basic basic font which you can go and change um, but I'm gonna stick with it for now because I'm pretty happy with it and then you can put the at logo obviously and then your Instagram so I'm going to put uh, tutorial Tucker just like so and now I can drag that across click off it line it up okay everybody so the next thing i want to go and show you is cool it's called adding sort of like an overall texture and borders to your image so what the first thing you need to do is grab the image and make sure it's perfectly lined up like that this is if you're adding a border otherwise do not worry at all and yeah but this is the ad for adding a border because otherwise it's going to add the border unevenly so it needs to be perfectly lined up so once you've done that all you want to do is come to the frames and now we're going to be here uh, if you want to add like a simple edge just like an outline click at that and then you can choose the color so i might go actually you know what i did quite like that sort of um gray type color so i'm going to go for something like that click off it and then you can change the thickness by increasing it just like so and uh, yeah that's your overall image so as you can see it sort of zooms it in and that does make it sort of look kind of i do like that look actually it sort of makes it a bit bolder but you can reduce it obviously just like so and uh, you leave your normal image and that's obviously what you're going to get at the end of the day um, but you can add so much more to it and you can go and add text if you want so if you wanted to apply the edge you would go and click yes apply which I love because it actually sort of reminds you if you actually are going to be um, adding it or not um, actually adding it which is super useful so I'm going to click no and leave because I don't need it right now and you can go and add these awesome effects so for example if I wanted to go and add a burst you click that and now it's loaded it in and obviously that is way too too bright and it's not um sort of faded enough so there all you want to do is go down to overlay and you can still see it and you can still change that i'm pretty sure by doing size is it uh, so you can that changes a bit of it and to change how strong it is all you need to do is move this back and forth as you can see you want the full image you do that and if you don't want anything you can do that and you can also change the saturation as well but obviously you can't see because i've got the fade on so if you want to change saturation you do that so i'm going to go for zero perfect and the size you can change how much you want it so i'm going to turn this off so i'm not a major fan i just want to show you guys how you can edit it and also guys if you want to go and save the image i do really recommend screenshotting it so on a windows computer all you do is shift Windows key S and you probably won't see it on my um, screen recorder but then it'll bring up a key like a little mouse and you can draw the image you want so I'm going to quickly draw that right now and then you're going to get a pop up um, and then you can click on it and I can drag it in just like so and you can go and save it by clicking the Windows um, save as there so yeah that is basically all you need to do guys if you haven't enjoyed this video please smash a like subscribe to the channel and have a very awesome day peace